Britain's horse chestnuts are under threat from a disease which is likely to be as devastating as was Dutch elm disease in the 1970s. By mid-2008, bleeding canker had already affected over half of the horse chestnut trees in the country. There is no known cure for this disease, and affected trees get destroyed because of the risk of fungal attack, rot and falling branches. It attacks horse chestnut trees of any age, and the Forestry Commission has already had to fell thousands of trees. In Wiltshire, the historic avenue of 28 horse chestnuts at Avebury had to be felled. In Barrington Court in Somerset, 43 horse chestnuts were felled. In Cambridge, 100 trees are at risk. If you live in Thornbury and are of a nervous disposition, switch over to a music video now. So what are the symptoms? Cankers are weeping lesions which look like this. Or this. These lesions can bleed slightly or profusely, oozing a liquid that can range from brick red in colour to almost black. Older cankers will cause callosin. Bleeding canker causes the bark to crack. This is harder to notice on older trees, where the bark has changed from a relatively smooth surface and a greyish colour to a darker brown, hard, scaly condition. Lesions also expose the tree to fungal infections, especially white mycelium. Now that you know the main symptoms, let's see how the horse chestnut trees in Thornbury are faring. Um, we have a problem. I am not an expert, but I think I can recognise the signs. There's a youngish tree at the church road end of Seven Drive. It appears to have lesions. There is evidence of bleeding, of a brick red colour and a darker colour between the limbs. The bark is cracked. There's a slightly older tree in Church Road, opposite the entrance to St Mary's Primary School. It has weeping lesions. Bleeding. Callousing. and cracking of the bark. In Gillenstool near Stream Lees, there's a mature tree with scaly bark. But it appears to have weeping lesions. Bleeding. Callousing. and fungal infection. In Thornbury Park, where Sheelin School is located, on the footpath just before the stile into the Castle School playing fields perimeter is a fairly mature tree with weeping lesions. Bleeding. Callousin and apparent cracking of the bark. In Glossa Road at the Elms, what an ironic name, there are two relatively small trees, but because of their location 
I could not inspect them closely. But if the site management wants to give me access, I'd be happy to take a look. In Putley's, the playing field that used to belong to the former grammar school in Gloucester Road and is now a publicly accessible field behind the Castle School Sixth Form Centre, there is a tree which, despite its size, is quite mature. It has lesions. Bleeding. Callousing. Apparent cracking and bark shedding. And fungal infection. Its relatively small size seems to be as a result of previous surgery. And it may have been this tree which encroached on the grammar school sports field. There's a younger tree in the grounds of Christ the King Primary School. With clearly weeping lesions. Bleeding. and apparent cracking of the bark.